Hey, so everybody wants me to make a video on my Jeep. Um, there's really nothing to it other than a cheap eBay turbo and a little bit of time, but oh, just to get started um, for oil feed going to the turbo, basically just got this T right off of where the uh, oil pressure sensor uh, was attached. Basically, it's a T block comes right out and then the bottom one I have plugged and then this oil feed line goes up the top of the turbo um, plugs in here it's 4AN fitting um, and then you got the oil return on the bottom sorry if my camera is not focusing oil return comes out the bottom runs down um, kinda adjacent to that pipe and um, Runs all the way down to the bottom of the pan. Basically, I have a 10 AN fitting. Uh, it looks something like. Um, I know I have an extra one over here somewhere. It looks. It's a 10 AN fitting. Um, obviously, the one I have in the pan is a little bit different than that, but that's, that's the oil return. Um, pretty simple. And then for the. the ECU, it's not it's not permanent yet, but it's going to be in this area. Um, heat shielding is going to be in the works, but something something real slim, maybe out of that flat stock. But uh, uh, the up pipes really nothing special. It's going to come straight up. This one's a two and a half inch, and I just welded it right to the um, V band fitting they give you, so that was easy and. A lot of guys are questionable about running a two and a half inch up pipe. Honestly, I have no idea. I've never, I've never experimented with different size like three inch or two and a half. Um, and then we have basically for a for a blow off valve, it's just running right to the vacuum port on the blow off. Um, and I teed it off from where the uh, cruise control one was. This line runs to the cruise control. And I, I believe it runs over in that area somewhere. Anyways, I teed it off and then just ran that up to the blow off valve so that, yeah, it functions. But nothing special. Again, that's just a cheap, uh, you know, I might have got that on Amazon and I don't even remember. Turbo is a T3, T4, um, 50 mil turbo that I bought from Amazon. This one's got the wastegate built into it and it's preset at 8 pounds. So, if I wanted to, I have this set up. I can add the boost controller and for adjusting boost, but honestly, I'm not going to run past 8 pounds. So, it's just there if I need it. For a filter, I mean, I would love to put a snorkel on this eventually. That way I can go through water and mud and whatever without worrying about it. Uh, for tuning, that's the biggest question I've gotten. Tuning, what am I doing for tuning? Um, split second tuning makes a fuel timing calibrator. And it actually piggybacks right from the black plug on your um, um, ECU. Plug in the split second tuner. Um, and then right into your PCM. And then the other wire, the wire, the existing wire will go on to the other side of the harness of the uh, split second module. Um, it is pricey up front, but it is a plug and play for these Jeeps. Um, and it will take care of timing and fuel under boost. Uh, it comes pre-built with a, I think it was a two bar map sensor. Um, so you, it takes care of your map issues. And then for fine tuning, I am going to go with HP tuners. Um, please sponsor me if anybody from HP Tuners watches this. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm, I plan on using HP Tuners. They came out with the platform for these Jeeps not that long ago from what I understand. Um, but as long as you have, I believe it's the 96 or 97 or newer JTEC ECUs, you can plug in the MPVI-2 uh, from HP Tuners and tune it right from your laptop as long as you have the JTEC ECU. Uh, the way I identified mine 
Um, from what I understand, as long as you have the gray plug, sorry, my camera's not going to focus easily. The gray plug, white plug, and then your black plug. I, from what I heard, that's a dead giveaway um, that that's your your JTAC. You can obviously you can look up the numbers and figure it out for for sure, but. Um, I have no doubt with this being a 99 uh, that it's the newer ECU. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing for tuning. Split second tuning, I'll put links in the description. Split, split second tuning and HP tuners. I don't know. There's there's a lot of things that I'm going to miss and hopefully I can be able to answer some questions. There's been a lot. Well, mostly, like I said, most of the questions are tuning. Um, Oh, before I forget, I did um, I did make my own uh, downpipe. I, it's, yeah. Anyways, it comes right off the uh, eBay headers that I bought. You're not gonna be able to see them. Um, you know how these jeeps are, but they're just some cheap eBay headers. I can put the link to those as well in the description. Um, but basically, what I did with the old crappy piping I had. I'm not going to be able to see it. I see the... From what I had, I basically ran it right off of that header. Um, stock piping. <laughs> I recut everything because that, that 90 or that 180 degree bend was perfect from the um, stock pipe. But I used that, bent it all the way up and just kind of I fabbed it so that it would tuck as close as I could to the pan so it wouldn't be in the way of this front drive shaft here. Um, and so far I've had no issues with hitting or anything, but it, like I said, it just runs straight up and underneath the power steering pump. I can show you from the top again. And then I was able to use the uh, um, O2 sensor bung that was originally there uh, I just had to extend the wires but honestly nothing right now is permanent I gotta get up and I don't plan on editing this video at all um, nothing's perfect yet um, it's all in the works still but I'm looking forward to seeing where it, where it uh, ends up here in about a month or so and I'm in no rush winter's coming here in Michigan and We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But you can see that just runs straight up right underneath that um, motor mount. Comes up under and then up. I did put um, heat wrap from the flange down because, uh, yeah, it gets hot. And I've already, just from testing, I've already put, put a little melt spot in that oil return. So that's going to get replaced. But. And then, obviously, it's really close to the power steering. This is just my version 1 setup. My, this is what I'm using to kind of do the proof of concept. And then it's only room to improve from here. Uh, things I want to improve on with my version 2. I want to fix that. Um, up pipe so it's got a little bit more room not touching things and just basic improving of cleanliness